pleased to welcome all of the delegates and guests, heroic efforts of teachers and educators uh, to deliver education for our young people and students in the face of the uh, greatest uh, challenges uh, we have witnessed on a global uh, stage for uh, some significant time. Now is the time to discuss how we can marshal education and how we can support educators to recover from the last year and a half. In this time of instability and unpredictability, we have set ourselves the goal to discuss the necessary steps and policies beyond the pandemic. When we educate, what should we as a teachers address? Root causes, fear and despair. Climate change will amplify inequalities. There will be no education-led recovery unless movements of people make it happen. And those movements depend on strong trade unions. After decades of neglect, education can no longer wait. ETUC and ETUC cooperate so much to make sure that education and training are really at the core of these strategies. Les enseignants et tous les personnels de l'éducation en général ont accompli des missions extrêmement difficiles dans un contexte parfois de précipitation ou bien d'injonction contradictoire. We are not just disseminating knowledge, we are contributing to shaping the future. This action plan is one step, one shared tool in order to build a better future through education. An education-led recovery should have as its abiding aim uh, this promotion of the common will, the common good. I wish to commend this report for your endorsement, Gurmil Mahagov Galer. If we want to ensure that we do not lose a whole generation of young people to disillusionment, exclusion and unemployment, we have to act now. The countries that have had the best collective education responses to the pandemic have done it in a collaborative way between unions and, and government. Governments need to learn to take better care of their teachers and put teachers at the front and centre of their recovery policy. It covers a wide range of issues such as casualisation, performance-based funding and growing restrictions on academic freedom that affect the higher education and research sector. So we must work for that social partners in education must provide skills for educators to understand and to teach students so that artificial intelligence can be introduced in a critical, safe and inclusive way in society. The trade union must, must therefore rethink which, uh, within a short period of time a strategic, uh, a strategic shift in our policies to combating climate change. We have multiple crises going on at the same time, and this is not just bad luck. There is not a day that goes by when I am not inspired and humbled by the commitment and actions of union leaders and activists. The climate change, which the future generations particularly betrifft, is existential. The 2019 crisis to work harder to improve access to digital skills and infrastructure. We need to invest more in our teachers. We are not weak. We are powerful. We are resilient. Taking the lead in this recovery process, we can make a difference. Artificial intelligence is there and we will have to deal with it. Yeah, it is really high time. Time calls for radical change. Radical change may be in school curriculum. Radical change how we teach, who we teach.